Hello, everyone. So here we are having a question. I hope you can see the question on your screen. Let's read it out first of all, and then we will imagine what the question is all about. Two balls are thrown simultaneously. Okay, so there are two balls. The ball A, vertically upward with a speed of 20 meter per second. So let's first of all draw it. So let's suppose this is actually the distance. And here the ball is A. So basically it is being thrown upward with a velocity of 20 meter per second. And this is actually the point from where the ball B is thrown downward. Now they are saying uh, the ball B is vertically downward from the height 40 meter. Okay, so the distance between the point A and B is actually 40 meter. Let me draw it first of all, 40 meter. So here it is, 40 meter. So basically the distance between the point A and B is 40 meter. And both the balls are being thrown with the same speed. I hope you can see that it is written there. Both the balls are thrown with the same speed along the same line of motion. Okay, at which point the two balls will collide. We don't have any idea, but this is for sure that both the balls will collide at any point between the point A and B, right? So let's take this point C and we are saying that the balls will collide at point C. So let me write it. Let the two balls will collide at point C. Now we have to take the distance of C from bottom or top, you can take it from anywhere. So let's take this distance as X. Let me do it. This is X and this distance as 40 minus X. Let me do it. This also. So this is 40 minus X. Okay. This is actually meter. This is also in meter. So this is the point C. So let's talk about the first ball. For ball A. I hope you can see the ball A is being thrown from the bo downward bottom part. Let's say you, the velocity with which the ball A is thrown upward is 20 meter per second. It is already given in the question. Now, you know, we have to find out the distance AC, right? So in order to find out the distance AC, we will going to use the second equation of motion, which is S is equals to UT plus half AT square. There is another variable called T. So we have to consider that ball A reaches from the point A to point C in time T. And similarly, the ball B, which is thrown from the point B, also reaches the point C in the same time. So let me also write, let the time taken by both the balls to collide each other is small t. So let me write it here. Let T be the time at which both the balls will collide let me correct it both the balls will collide at c c is the point so i hope you can see there are two variables instead of s we will going to write x u is already given to us that is 20 t plus half and since this is the motion under gravity so definitely the acceleration will be minus g because the ball is thrown from the bottom the ball is going from the bottom to the top. So definitely the acceleration due to gravity should be negative. That's why I have put the negative sign. So it is comes out to be 20 T minus half G T square. And that's our first equation. So this is actually the first equation for ball A. Similar equation will be there for the ball B. Let me also write it down. So just a minute. For ball B. Here again, U is actually 20 meter per second. But this time the ball B is thrown from top to the bottom. So again, the same equation S is equals to UT plus half AT square. S this time is 40 minus X. I hope you can see because this is actually the B to C distance. U, what is U? It is also being thrown with the same velocity. So definitely it is 20. T is again same. So T is T because we don't know about that. A T square. But A is also there. A is 9.8 with a positive sign because it is being thrown from top to bottom. So it is like this. So the 40 minus X is equals to 20 T plus half. Let me not put the value of G. So let it be small g. G T squared. Now that's our second equation. Now we have to solve both of them by either elimination or substitution, whichever way you think it will be easy. So I'm going to eliminate both of these equations. So let me do it just a minute. So, x is equals to 20t minus half gt square. 
40 minus x is equals to 20t uh, plus half gt square. I'm going to add them simply. You can see when I add x and 40 minus x, both the x's will be cancelled because one has the positive sign, another has the negative sign. So the final answer will be 40. This will be simply added up because both have the same sign of positive. So 40 plus, 20 plus 20 will be 40. So it will be 40t. And they will be cancelled out because one is positive and another is negative. So definitely you can see that 40 is equals to 40t and time is equals to 40 upon 40. But we don't have to find out the time, but it will be used to find out the x. So definitely the t is coming out to be one second. The time, so it's come at love. Both the balls will going to collide each other at one second. I hope it is clear. Now we have to put the value of t, that is one second, in either of the equation one or two to get the value of x. Since we have to find out x, we will going to put it in equation number one. So I'm going to putting in t is equals to one second in equation one. Where is equation one? Here, is, here it is equation number one. So x is equals to 20 t. What is small t? It is one minus half g. What is the value of g? I hope you can see it's 9.8 because the value of g. Okay, okay. One more thing. The value of g already given in the question. So we will not use 9.8. We will use 10, whatever is given. If the value of g is not given in the question, then by default, we have to use the value 9.8, right? So the value of t is one second, so one square. So it is x is equals to 20 minus, you can cancel out this five. So 20 minus five is actually 15. So the ball collide at a distance of 15 meter from the bottom and five meter from the top. So you can write down this as per your requirement because in question it is not written so we can give both the values or either of them both will be accepted so the final answer should be uh, i don't have the space to write down but i'm going to tell you that the final answer should be written in terms of words that both the balls will collide at a time of one second yeah after one second at a distance of 15 meters from the bottom or five meters from the top so you can write it either way both will be the correct so i hope all of you got this question thank you very much